Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saturday, the 9th of July, 2022, of the 14th week in Ordinary Time, and the optional memorial of St. Augustine Zhao Wang, priest, and companions, martyrs. It is a great honor, a great glory to serve thee and to despise all things for thee. For they who willingly subject themselves to thy most holy service shall have great grace. They shall experience the most sweet consolation of the Holy Spirit, who, for the love of thee, have cast away all carnal delight. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, it is my joy and privilege to be your disciple. Give me strength and courage to bear any hardship and suffering which may come my way in serving you and obeying your will. May I witness to others the joy of the gospel, the good news of your kingdom of peace, joy, and righteousness. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Augustine Zhao Rong heads this group of 120 Chinese martyrs canonized by Pope John Paul II in 2000. He was the first martyred Chinese priest, born in 1746 in Wuchuang, Guzhou, China. He served in the military and was among those who escorted Monsignor, later Saint, Louis Gabriel Torin de Freze to prison in Beijing. Struck by the kindness of de Freze and Father Martin Moy, he was moved to convert and was ordained a priest in 1781. He preached with enthusiasm to his fellow Chinese. While ministering to the indigenous people of Yunnan, he was arrested, mocked, and severely beaten. He died from his wounds on January 27, 1815. The Epistle I am a man of unclean lips, yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Chapter 6, verse 1. In the year King Hosiah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne with the train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above, each of them had six wings. With two they veiled their faces, with two they veiled their feet and with two they hovered aloft. They cried one to the other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed for I am a man of unclean lips living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember that he had taken with tongs from the altar. He opened my mouth with it and said, See now, that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? 
Here I am, I said. Send me. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 93 Responsorial The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King in splendor robed, Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. And He has made the world firm not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed, holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Gospel Do not be afraid of those who kill the body. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 10, verse 24. Jesus said to his apostles, No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. If they are called the master of the house, Beelzebul, how much more those of his household. Therefore do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops, and do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. Matthew 10, 24 Most of us, probably even you, don't like being told what to do. We resist even the idea of coming under someone's authority. We want to make our own rules. As a result, the idea that God is our master seems too rigid and harsh. It can make us think of him as someone who only sets rules and punishes wrongdoings. But that's not who God is. We need to see him as he truly is, as a master whose authority we can trust and rely on. Matthew 10:24. Here are three of God's character traits 
that make it clear why we would want to make Him the Lord of our lives. First, if we believe that God is all-loving and all-powerful, we will discover a sense of freedom and relief. He is God and we are not. That means we don't have to do everything perfect. It also means that we don't have to fix everything and everyone around us. We can just try our best to serve Him and the people around us, and then peacefully leave the rest in His hands. Second, recognizing that God is the ultimate source of all our blessings can lead us to a position of gratitude and humility. We see how freely He has given us His gifts and graces, and that can move us to want to be just as generous to the people around us. In other words, it can move us, His disciples, to become like our teacher. Matthew 10.25 Third, the more we understand that our Heavenly Father is the giver of mercy, the easier it becomes to obey His challenging call to forgive 77 times. Matthew 18.22 Humbly repenting and receiving His forgiveness can soften our hearts and help us follow our Master in the way of mercy. Of course, we should try to be more like God, but we shouldn't try to be God. That only leads to trouble and heartache. Instead, we should accept Him as our loving Father and trust that He will take care of us. After all, He only wants what's best for us. Father, you are perfect love and mercy. Lord, I give myself to you. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.